I don't know if there's a hard line between education and propaganda. Propaganda obviously has kind of a negative connotation. Um, usually when we talk about propaganda, we talk about it like being very explicitly in service of a political message, but that's what I do as well. I guess it's the extent to which you're dishonest with it. The only thing I'll say is that in terms of conservative teachings, I don't think it relies on propagandizing so much as dogma. A ton of what conservatives teach each other is meant to be, they are simple, simple aphorisms, just simple, direct, unambiguous, moralistic claims about the world that are not meant to be questioned. The conservative worldview is all about not questioning basic pillars of understanding, which is why analysis is so difficult for them. Trust me, as somebody who has at this point debated a lot of conservatives and gone over a lot of conservative media, very rarely is there an analysis of a situation that leads to their conclusion. They don't go premise, premise, conclusion. They just say the conclusion and then attack people who disagree with it. Overwhelmingly, and you can see this in essentially any conservative media, you know? I'm not saying that there aren't left-leaning people who don't just, like, just push the line or whatever, but I think that for those who do, you can always ask those extra few questions, and usually you can get more substantive answers. But if you ask a conservative, like, why is breaking the law bad? Like, a simple one like that. Like, you'd expect them to answer with, you know, there are so many lines you can go with that. Well, Jesus Christ broke the law. Uh, Mar Martin Luther King Jr. broke the law. I guess, why is breaking the law bad? And they'll and the conservative answer will be because it's the law, right? I don't think I'm exaggerating. I, I that's happened to me in conversations. It's it's not about how anything works. It's just dogma.